Sean, Claudia, Jack, what have the nation been talking about? Um, you thought anything? What, what happened to you? The, ho um, <laughs> the horse sandwiches. Oh, the horse sandwiches. They've been talking about horse. The horse sandwiches is a really yeah. nice way of putting it. I'd yeah. love a horse sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't? Can yeah, we... but it was the burgers and they we... got tested and it's uh, full of horse and badger. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know if there was badger in it, but there was definitely... <laughs> and, they, and it happened in Ireland, didn't they? They tested the burgers and they said this has got... It's 30% horse was one of the burgers. Good. Have you eaten horse? Yeah, I've eaten horse, yeah. <laughs> what? I've, eat, I've eaten horse. Where, where did you eat horse? Where do I eat horse? In a horse restaurant. <laughs> a horse salad. I like, I like it in, in a salad, just a big lump of horse on the top. <laughs> okay, you know, like salad and soirs, we have a piece of tuna. I just have salad, a big lump of horse on the top. <laughs> so the, the people who kind of made the horse burgers yeah. said it was a mistake. It can't be a mistake. How do you mist Unless they've mistaken a horse for a cow. <laughs> I think it's a bit more like, you know when you get dolphin in tuna? Oh, you know, we're back to tuna like, again. Yeah, and you know, <laughs> and you know... You know when you catch uh, your cows, you go out into the field with a big net to catch a load of cows? <laughs> and you, and you, you bound you might occasionally, get a you'll get a couple of horses yeah. So that's why if you buy a burger, you should always get a horse-friendly burger. Yeah, yeah. So you, you throw the net over and you drag them all off to the squashing plant. And they just squash them <laughs> flat. The in fairness, in yeah. fairness, what has happened, right, I mean, OK, some of the burgers were 29% horse, and that is a lot of horse in a burger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you're expecting it to be a burger, 20, you could eat a horse and cart, and it wouldn't be 29% horse. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, though, though, some of them are only, like, 0.01%, and they said it, was, it, was, it wasn't necessarily horse meat. It wasn't, like, strands of horse that you pull out between your teeth. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was horse DNA. And, what, and that could be anything. And, I, well, and I'll stop you there, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> well, that could have been. That could have, like, that could have been the horse in the field who said, where are my mates gone? And, and all the cows, I'm going to follow the, their footpath and I'm going to find them. And they get, follow them all the way into an abattoir and see that they've been turned into burgers. And the horse just cried into the burgers. <laughs> Horse DNA in your burger. <laughs> what probably could have happened? Yeah. I don't think it stacks up. <laughs> Horse cynical. is the very best thing to have in your burger. I mean, that, of yeah. the shit that goes into like eight burgers for thirty. Like the prices at Aldi and Lidl. I wouldn't be surprised if there was horse meat in their bananas. Well, now you're saying. <laughs> Shit. There's three percent jockey in those Tesco burgers. <laughs> just <laughs> fucking grinding stuff in. There's also a, a case if you know, they haven't tested haggis. I mean, what's in that? Def oh, I would say a, a punt on at least five percent meerkat. <laughs> 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 I think all this fuss about horse burgers. Do people know about glue? <laughs> Good point. It's horses. Your prit stick is probably twenty-five percent sugar. <laughs> The imagination that came up with the idea when you look at a horse that that would be sticky. Yeah. If, 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 you know, if you do the right things to it, and why just horses? You know, people look at cows and uh, it's not going to work the same way. No. <laughs> horse. It's a similar one with lobsters, actually. You know, you imagine the person who first dredged up probably the scariest looking animal on the earth from the bottom of the sea and went, you know what? Let's boil that alive. <laughs> have it for a starter. Be delicious. <laughs> what's, the, what's the weirdest meat you've had? I've had reindeer, delish. Yeah. Until my kid said, you ate Rudolph. I was like, are you still believing in Rudolph? He's 18. <laughs> and... <laughs> but I'd eat anything. Hamster... <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Maybe that's a new I'm Jewish. Show. <laughs> if you eat meat all the time, the chances are. Like every football game you go to, some bloke comes up with a caravan that he's stuck a grill in and he goes, You want meat? And you just go, Yeah, it's two quid. And then you eat it. You don't know what's in there. Could be bloody anything, couldn't it? What's they did investigations at all the football grounds, and one of the things I read was Swansea City were selling out of date pate. <laughs> I just thought, What's happened to football? <laughs> <laughs> Swansea City fans at games going, Brynn, does this party taste like too? <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit tired. I can't tell if that's because the apricots clashing with the cardamom or if it's... <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look and see if horse sandwiches is up there.
people have been talking about there are traces of horse meat have been found in several supermarket burgers. Silvercrest Food, one of the suppliers of the horse meat contaminated burgers, is said to be an award winning company. And it turns out the award they won was the Grand National in 2012. <laughs> uh, Johnson, what else have the nation been talking about? Is it Splash? Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I've been talking about it. Have you not it. been watching Splash? Uh, well, I've... I've yeah, no, not, not all the time. <laughs> I've been doing other things as well. I watched it because I got told it was the worst thing on telly ever. And it just wasn't. It was just people splashing in a pool a bit. <laughs> it's Eddie Eagle in a mankini, <laughs> jumping <laughs> off a dining board. What is not to like? Well, then, let's have a little look at Eddie the Eagle jumping. Ladies and gentlemen, flap your wings. It's Eddie the Eagle Edwards. <laughs> <laughs> What's not to like? He went through, right, and he said, ah, oh, now I've gone through, people are going to rethink that I'm a loser. <laughs> not watching that, Eddie. No one was looking at that going, there's one of life's winners. Oh, no, that was a... I'm sorry, did we watch the same thing? I thought that was amazing. That was phenomenal. That was phenomenal. He got number one, he made it up, all the way up there. <laughs> which I couldn't do. He used to be a ski jumper. It's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> Scary. It should be called Strictly Come Gravity. If <laughs> <laughs> they found something any celebrity can do, which is fall off things. Ah, uh, well, I, I beg to differ, Sean. Have a look at this. Not every celebrity can do it. We couldn't top the Olympics. <laughs> but they've absolutely nailed it, haven't they? <laughs> that was her goal, because at the beginning she couldn't even oh. jump in. They had to tip her into the pool. <laughs> well, you think he's joking? He's not. Look. Tom had the marvellous idea of introducing a nappy mat. <laughs> and sort of tipped me in. Like <laughs> a bit of cargo that has to be just shunted into the water like a cruise ship. You know when the Americans buried Bin Laden at sea? That's how I imagine it looks. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that reminded me of? You know sometimes when you've got a tin of condensed soup and you tip it in the pan and it comes out in exactly the shape of the... 